We didn't use firearms. We were told not to use firearms because the British could blow us out of the water. So these were the things we were doing, and we were up for 24 hours. I was, I was barely, you know, uh, barely awake. Only hours from her destination, trailed by six British warships, the President Warfield at last revealed her new name. July 17, Thursday in 1947, we put up the mug and David, the Star of David, and the sign comes on the ship, Exodus 1947. The Haganah changed the beaching site to Bat Yam. The Exodus was to make the approach, staying just outside territorial waters, and then execute a fast dash for shore. The Haganah ordered the Palmach, its armed wing, to send 30,000 men to Bat Yam to get to the Exodus refugees before the British. The situation was critical. A firefight between the Palmach and the British on the beaches of Bat Yam could be the spark to total war. The British Navy had no intention of letting the Exodus get to the beaches. In the tense atmosphere of Apparently, the British broke our cords, and they knew exactly what we were planning. So they decided instead of fighting the Palmach in Tel Aviv, in a city, they'll take the ship at sea. And so the decision was that the ship would be boarded. It was a very dark night. And out of the night, from two sides, came two destroyers. But we were 25 miles off the coast of Gaza when the British attacked. And before we could do anything, they hit us, they squeezed us from both sides so that we couldn't maneuver. Searchlights blazed, loudspeakers blared an ominous threat. You're in territorial waters. You're under arrest. Stop your ship. We're going to board you. We decided to stand our ground and continue steaming. And that's when they started uh, ramming us. And at 2.45, we started boarding. And the British boarded the Exodus with guns and tear gas. And the refugees fought back with tins of beef and potatoes. It was really a corned beef and, and, and potato barrage. And it could be uh, deadly. Don't let the, it's no joke. <laughs> 